Hello and welcome back to another M40 Militaria video. video. Today's video we will be reviewing the Epic Militaria East German Map Satchel. Yes, map case. Brown vinyl map case. So, I got this in an unboxing video that you, uh, is also on my channel so go check that one out. Um, I got this because you know I'm building a whole East German uniform. I've got the belt, I got the backpack, I got the suspenders, and I thought I'd get this. I think this is these were only really used for officers, but I still got one because I've got tons. And when I say tons, I mean absolute tons of maps. So I could fit loads of maps in this. So um, I'll go more into depth about it and show you how it you know works in shots in a minute. But basically, take this middle strap out. Don't know if you can see that. There you go. This folds up. And then I don't know what this pouch here is for. And I don't know what this strap is for. I'm not gonna I'm gonna be honest. I'll do some research on them in later videos about this. You then pull this tab off. And then this unfolds. You've got a nice see-through piece of plastic. Nice I don't know why there's there's like a piece of uh, cotton wool something some fabric there. But I got a nice map there. And then Behind all that, a minute, let me fold that right the way back. There is more storage for even more maps. You could fit, I've got a pencil in there for now so you can record things. But this is an original one, an original East German one. I only mentioned Epic Militaria in the title because that's who I bought it off of. So, you know, if you if you like the look of this, it's um, the one I got was on Epic Militaria. Um, I think their black one. Their black version isn't is just a replica. Let me check. Their black one doesn't really state if it's original. It says genuine quality, um, but I'm not sure if that means that it's original or not. But this one definitely has original in the name. So it's got these nice kind of East German looking uh, clips to go on. I, I've seen a lot of these kind of style clips on East German things. I don't know where they originate, but that's where I've seen them. A uh, nice big long leather kind of vinyl what, or yeah leather strap looks leather but it won't be um, sits over like this it looks a bit like you know a handbag but trust me it's not especially when you've got the East German officers uniform on it'll look pretty good I'm not gonna get the officers one but I just wanted to wanted something to keep some of my maps in uh, so I'll roll some clips of it and then I'll come back and we'll do the outro. Yeah, apart from that, that's that's all all there is to it. I, I'd recommend getting some maps for it because it looks a lot better the inside when you've got plenty of maps stuffing the whole bag. And it's nice and easy to use. It, was, it, it confused me how all the buckles and stuff worked at the start, but it seems pretty easy now that I've got the hang of it. Um, but this, I've got plenty more videos coming out. Uh, the next video after this should be the either the Pazgit, which is a American Kevlar helmet, or it'll be the the um, GP5 Russian gas mask. And do. And well, I'm going to repaint my Stahlhelm, take the decals off, because one of the great people over at Epic Militaria let me know, the guy that actually paints the helmets for Epic Militaria, let me know that uh, they didn't use decals in 1942 for the Stahlhelm. Um, and I was wanting to paint it anyway, so might as well take them off when I'm painting it. So I might do a painting video, I also might not, but there'll be an unboxing video and a GP5 and a Paz get on their way. Uh, but yeah, so that's all I have for this video. I'll catch you guys later.